Good morning, boys and girls. Do you have your Bible ready with you? We're going to do Bible drills today. If you don't have it, please pause the video and run get it. Okay, so before spring break, we had practiced looking for a book of the New Testament. We went through the whole New Testament. How many books was that? 27. Let's say them together. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. Now in the Old Testament, how many are there? 39 and 27 New Testament books plus 39 Old Testament books makes how many? 66 little books that make up our entire Bible. Let's say the Old Testament books together. Sorry guys, I'm too shy to sing the whole song all by myself, so we'll just say them. But will you say them with me? I don't want to be alone. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. There they are, all 66 books. We said them today, and we know how to find each book of the New Testament. So let's go back to the Old Testament. Before spring break, we had looked at verses in Genesis and Exodus. What comes next? That's right, Leviticus. Today we're looking for Leviticus 14, 2. Number 14 is the chapter, so that's the big number. So find Leviticus, the big 14 for the chapter, and verse 2 is the little number that comes next. Pause the video until you find it. Ready? Let's read it together. Leviticus 14, 2. And the priest shall go forth. I'm sorry, that was verse 3. Let me try verse 2 for real. This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought unto the priest. Remember, a leper was someone who had leprosy, and hardly anyone was ever cured of leprosy. There was one guy in the Old Testament, and then in the New Testament, remember, we learned how Jesus healed those lepers, and only one of them came back to say thank you. And another time he healed some lepers and he sent them to the priests. Well, in Leviticus 14, if you keep reading, these are the rules of what had to happen when they went to the priest so they could be um, cleansed and ready to go back and live with their family. But hardly, ever, hardly anyone ever got to really do that. And it's exciting the day that Jesus healed the lepers so that they could. And I bet the priest was really excited to remember the rules and to be able to help those lepers go back to their family. Well, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll look for a verse in the next book of the Bible. Hmm, what is it? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. But today you've got many things to do and I have a ton of homework. I have so many papers to look at from your packets, but I'm excited to do it. I wonder how many smiley faces I will have to give away. I think I may need to write some numbers up on the Wowza board for you. Ooh, will we fill it all up today? I'll let you know later. You get to work and I will too, and I'll see you later. Have a good day.